Good morning and welcome back to the Crypto Clown World channel. It is the 19th of April 2023. I am your host with the honks, Jason Bruce. And it is Wednesday morning. We're going to get it honking on in here because Bitcoin just took a little honk down here. And I just want to highlight what's going on here so the people don't get a little too panicked as this really looks to be um, probably just a small liquidity grab and there's a good chance that we can move back up from here based on a few different factors so uh, yesterday when I provided an update I did note that we had a reversal doji here uh, which we did bounce off the bottom of this channel that we're forming here uh, which was pretty close to this 0.5 Fibonacci um, unfortunately once we got back up to the top of the channel rather quickly I might add uh, we did double top there and lost this point of control and you can see just a few hours ago we wicked up to it and we're brutally rejected down to the bottom of the channel at exactly this 0.5 Fibonacci so uh, this 0.5 Fib is uh, holding a support right now uh, as well as the bottom of this downtrend channel and you can see that these wicks are uh, pretty well lined up here so we can look at this as a descending parallel channel and quite likely has some bullish bias to it because what we did see here uh, is actually a pretty nice bullish divergence that formed on the hourly chart uh, once we drop down there so if you're liking what you're seeing here and if this makes any sense to you uh, please honk the like button get subscribed to our channel uh, make sure that you are getting notified uh, by hitting the bell for those future notifications so that uh, new videos and content comes out to you in a timely manner um, really what we have to look at right now for Bitcoin is um, figuring out where it can get within the next 12 hours on the intraday picture so we do have a 12 hour candle that's going to be closing within about half an hour here and you can see we did get a pretty nasty uh, bearish engulfing candle uh, however if we even look at this a little bit differently we might have a little bit of a falling broadening wedge here which can have a bullish bias okay what I'm not liking on the 12 hour is the fact that we lost this 50 level on the RSI so we do have to be cognizant of the fact that it may have been a breakdown point however this stochastics RSI is still showing the blue above the red here uh, which is technically in a position of strength on this 12 hour chart however if we were to lose the 29,000 level which is pretty much the key level right now which is around this 0.5 fib uh, we're looking at retesting this point of control which is around 28,000 okay so 29,000 key area if that breaks 28,000 is the next support if that breaks um, I would say it's likely to test this 99 EMA here around 27.2 and if that doesn't offer support the 200 weekly moving average is sitting down here right now around 25,858 okay so keep those levels in mind uh, it is entirely possible that we do end up down in that area Okay, so that's the larger picture for Bitcoin here right now on the 4 hour and 12 hour. Uh, I would really like to see Bitcoin uh, make its way back up here. Now let's see if the smaller time frames are providing us any hope. 
Uh, RSI is trying to regain strength on the seven minute with the Stochastics RSI extremely overbought. Um, right now it looks potentially like this flag here may have broken out. So a measured move on that breakout be like 29.648. And then we can reassess from there. Uh, the price currently has taken back the uh, middle Bollinger Band and the 7 EMA trying to regain the point of control and the 25 EMA here on the 7 minute. Uh, if it does, which looks like it's quite likely to do, um, this target here is a likely point to gravitate towards as well as this 99 EMA, which is just above it at around 29,750. All right. And we can watch for a rejection On this move here, oh look at that, the measured move of this triangle takes us right up to the 0.5 fib, which is where we would see a bearish rejection typically. Um, I would want to see us get above this level, which is at 29.655, okay, so hopefully the price would gravitate up to this 99 EMA, maybe come back down to this 0.5 fib as support. Uh, Golden Pocket is just above that area at around 29.8 to 29.850. Okay. Uh, above that, we can start to look at knocking out the 30,000 area again and the point of control uh, locally on the smaller time frames right now is around 30,229. I'd like to see Bitcoin at least back above uh, this 99 EMA, which is around 29.765, 29.750 uh, by the end of the close today. If we can get back above that, then I think we are in good shape to try and move back up uh, above 30,000 or even above this point of control, uh, which we saw come in here at this higher volume area would be ideal actually once I pinch that a little bit more and give us a little more price action it's around 30.3 so let's say 30.3 is the line in the sand for Bitcoin we want to get above that back above that on the daily uh, really wasn't looking for this little yank but it did happen and that's where we're at right now so it was kind of this little triangle here that broke down and that's where we're at right now so you know once again I just want to highlight that we are in this channel we're not really in a whole lot of trouble right now because it does look like we're uh, regaining momentum and strength here and we do have this bullish divergence that has formed here and there is a bullish bias to this pattern whether you want to look at it as a parallel descending channel or whether you want to look at it as a falling broadening wedge. These patterns do have bullish bias and technically we would be looking at this pattern breaking out. Um, if we break above this point of control somewhere to an area around thirty three point seven thousand dollars potentially uh, some people think that we're probably heading to this thirty two thousand dollar area now uh, if we bounce from here but we'll see what happens on the intraday and if we can just get back above thirty thousand so that is the picture for bitcoin this morning um you know 
Bitcoin Karen's getting a little excited because once again, Bitcoin's back under 30,000. She thinks it's totally going back to 10 grand. I totally don't once again. So with that in mind, uh, if you saw anything that was of value to you once more, make sure you're honking the like button on the way out and that you're subscribed to the channel and have clicked the bell for notifications. My name is Jason Bruce. This is Crypto Clown World. And I am going to get honking on out of here for this Wednesday. Make sure you have a fantastic hump day and take care of yourselves, folks.